Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Today I wanna to show you three powerful things that you can do with your camera using the Google app on your iPhone. If you don't have the app yet installed on your phone, just go to the App Store, type in Google, and this is what it looks like. So go ahead and install that, and I'm gonna show you the first thing that you can do. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Google app. You can see it's installed on my phone already. And all I'm gonna be talking about in this video is just things on the camera, but go ahead and take a look at other stuff on this app. But the camera is right in that search bar. It's beside the microphone and I'm just gonna click on it. And I have a few documents and everything on my desk right now. So what I'm gonna do is uh, you can see, I'm gonna hit the second one from the left. It looks like the uh, Google uh, Docs uh, one. And I'm hovering over a piece of paper. This is just some of my, some of my uh, kids work in their grade one that they were supposed to do for the week and I'm hovering over it and notice how there's highlighted sections picked. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the icon. It's going to take a picture now and the text is found in the image. But what I can do, let's say if I only want the one part from it, I can stretch, I can highlight, I tapped in it and I'm highlighting a certain part to it. Now I have some, I'll go right to the top here to topic right there. So I have that part selected. Notice that I can go copy text, copy to computer, and even translate. But in this example, I just want to show copy to the computer. And I'm going to click copy to the computer. I'm going to pick my computer. But just to make a note, look where it says make sure you're signed in to your computer's Chrome browser on it. So you got to be connected to the same browser that you're connected to your phone. And if I go ahead and I'm going to pick my computer that I'm using, so it's copied. So I'm just going to go and switch screens over on Google. I'm going to open up Google Docs here to show you how I can paste that right in now. Okay, so I'm over in Google Docs right now and I'm just gonna right click and you can go Control V if you want to as the shortcut. I'm just gonna right click and hit paste and that's what I just took the picture and selected from. Now this works with uh, Microsoft. If I open up Microsoft Word, I'll show you it also works in that. Here I am in Microsoft Word now and I'm just gonna go Control V and you see it paste right in. So using Google, using the Google app on your iPhone, you can quickly take a picture of that text, get it right over to your computer to quickly modify it how you'd like. So next up, I wanna use the translating feature that it has. So I'm gonna go back to the camera again, and you can see I have this toy water gun uh, on it because I found it had uh, some text that is in a different language, and I'm gonna hover over, but you won't notice. You notice you can see as I hover over, it's identifying the text. Now I'm gonna switch this here. I'm gonna switch the last one where it's translate right there. And I'm gonna pick this back up again. And you can see, you can read it now. Do not aim at the eyes or face to avoid any injury. So it changed it right while I was looking at it, a little augmented reality on it. So if you need to do some trans uh, translate and I have it under auto detect English, but you can see under the different ones, you have different languages that you can try to auto text with. So take a look at that feature to see what can be translated around your place to see how that well this works. The last feature that I wanna show you in today's video, but there's still more you can play with under the camera. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna go back to this water gun that uh, I've taken a picture and I'm just gonna take a picture under just the search and click the picture. And notice I don't even have the full picture, but it's showing me where I can shop for this. If I go down, it shows me other images. So you can try different objects around your house and you can quickly search. So if I just move this back and grab something else, let, let's say I grab these Rode microphones, take a picture, you can see there they are right there. And then there's other ones that are connected because they see the road on it too. But you can quickly get uh, information uh, from your phone and translate it, bring it over to your computer like I showed you with copy and pasting. You can do your searches or even translate. Take a look at the restaurant option and other things that this Google app can do for you. So I hope you like this tip today on Teacher's Tech. Uh, let me know what you think. If you've tried it for other things or seen other apps that do similar things, I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.